Now this illustration deals with grounded or ungrounded in accordance with 404.12. I like the loops here. Notice the loop to the left. Metal boxes shall be grounded as required in 410.42, 314.40 divs in dog, uh, 250.4A5, you know, that deals with the effective ground fault path, and 250.54. Now that's loop one if you have a metal box. How about a non-metallic box? Then we go to the right and look at loop two. A non-metallic non boxes shall not be required to be grounded for 410.44 exception 1, 250.148D. But you'd pull an equipment ground over there for a metal yoke on a switch, receptacle, or whatever, uh, and an equipment uh, ground to ground whatever you may be cord and plug connecting. But if you're switching, that metal yoke would have to be grounded then a metal screw could ground a metal plate, for example. Or you could just use a completely non-metallic type system. So this is dealing with metal boxes uh, and uh, non-metallic boxes. And figure 11-44 simply uh, going through the rules of one grounded, one ungrounded in accordance with 404.12.